It's good to have a boring life sometimes. 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 Can't be all go, go, go all the time, you know? Uh, yes, well. And I know you're go, go, go most of the time. So. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of hard with uh, the strike going on right now. Most productions in Alberta are stopped until further yeah. notice, so. Are oh, you big chilling? We're just big chilling, just big waiting, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I started going back to the chiropractor, so I'm pretty happy about that. I was just telling Jess that I love getting cracked. Um, <laughs> Don't we all? I'm a glow stick, so crack me up, I guess. Crack me up, crack me up. <laughs> uh, and yesterday, one of Jacob and I's friends was in town, so we went and um, like, had dinner with him. It was nice. really nice. Nice, nice. But otherwise, uh, it's not much is happening, I guess yeah like i'm enjoying it's been raining and storming a lot though yeah last week it was very stormy which was kind of ironic because it's usually during the stampede season Mm -hmm. it's very like hot and nice um but we definitely got some rain showers in there yeah Um, i'm it's been like but we we've been having like thunderstorms on and off since probably like the end of last week yeah and today it's been like extremely like dark, cloudy, mm. and so fucking humid. It's actually disgusting. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We went to the gym, and when we got <laughs> out of the gym, even in the gym, it was like a lot more humid than usual, which was absolutely mm. disgusting. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then you humidity. go outside, mm. and then my <laughs> like glasses. <laughs> yeah, and then my glasses started clogging up. I'm like, <laughs> oh yes, uh, I did not miss this, but <laughs> but. You know, we're but, surviving. Uh, at least we have fixed AC now. True. So for that, that I can't complain because I can stay home, wear sweaters, and be happy. <laughs> Love that. Love it. And be happy. Also, it's good for the for the pets too. So. Yeah. No. True. True. Well, but, <laughs> got some exciting stuff this week. So uh, many things. Going I mean, on. we we know that a lot of it is. Uh, Mac may have it, but we'll leave that for last because that's how we are. That's how we are. Let's talk uh, <laughs> BTS first uh, because a uh, new documentary is coming, as mm-hmm. we had yeah. mentioned. Should be coming quickly. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, we still don't have a date for it yet, but uh, should be coming uh, later. It's going to be exciting. Uh, I have started reading. Um, beyond the story here you guys what do you think so i i need to i it's i need need to go further than the first page i need to like take a moment sit down and read it's really really good um i think like it's written like by bts like you can definitely tell the amount that's written in here i did like a couple of because they were starting from their, like, or, the the book basically starts from their, like, original journey all the way up until, yeah. like, It starts, present. like, through debut when they joined the group. Yeah, so a lot of that stuff um, is always so, like, interesting to me, and that it's in, like, a text now, so you can't even, like, deny that these things are ha- were happening. Yeah. Um, it definitely made me, like, tear up at points where yeah. I had to, like, oh, okay, we're okay, I'm we can push through I'm looking forward to it, but also not. I'm because really, you know how I am with emotions. Yeah, I'm really nervous about the specifically the 2016-2017 era because I lived through that and I don't know if I want to relive that totally era necessarily. But I but, think like you or like most of ARMY going through that moment through their point of view and through their yeah. eyes will bring definitely bring a new perspective. For sure. To if, like yes, we probably all felt or even now when we like go into retrospect and think yeah. about it uh feel some type of way but mm-hmm. looking back and seeing how like exactly how they felt yes will definitely uh 
be something else. <laughs> I agree. I really love how much they included like quotes and like their thoughts and feelings about moments because you can always like read an article from a certain perspective but it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily like have their voices attached to it that. It definitely makes it feel a lot more like it's them telling yes. that story which is the case. Yeah which is the case like it is like a biography so it's definitely told from their perspective but realistically the person writing this story is just telling the facts and then we're hearing the emotional responses from mm -hmm. them which is great that's a great way i think any that's documentary... what makes it like super unique too for sure yeah like inserting the exact quotes directly into it even yeah. though for, even though for things that are not necessarily like what you would think about getting 100%. a direct quote yeah 100 percent. so 100%. i that's what i was saying last because like i love that fact even though i've read like me two too. pages so far but me too still. um I also, like, really enjoy, and not just, like, the photos, but, like, the QR codes at the bottom, where, uh -huh. like, like, all of these are really, like, a unique touch that you can just go back and enjoy these moments and know exactly, like, how they were feeling when they, like, posted them. Uh, it's really cool. I like this whole idea and like reliving like the cafe moments and the mm -hmm. like the first like bang time tv like video or like jimin's like dancing like introducing oh. himself i there's so many cool unique things and i'm so incredibly happy that we got this as like an army gift and honestly I didn't know this, but I was looking um, because the author of the book actually like did a whole interview yes. uh, about like how they wrote the book and how it came about and all this kind of stuff. And the most like surprising thing from that interview was them saying that they weren't going to release it like on ARMY's birthday because it was a Sunday and they don't release books like in Korea and a lot of places don't release books on a Sunday but I mean because it's BTS a lot of the time they don't release anything anything on, on a Sunday movies music anything, I know like anything and so the fact that we got this on our birthday on a Sunday is mind-boggling like yeah they really what? said they really said fuck it like <laughs> yeah Army takes precedence on like the usual well, thing and, and they were still like this the author was saying like it's only bts and army like the, the only reason that this was published on a sunday was because it's bts and i was like yeah. yo i feel honored that we get to experience this book and it's so special that we get it on our birthday. I, mean, I will keep saying years. that we are uh, some, like one of the luckiest fandom. hundred percent. Ever. Uh, yeah, period. <laughs> End of discussion. Like, I'm done. Absolutely. fucking Lily. Um, so uh, that's kind of all the like BTS sort of like news yeah. that's coming little, up. like updates sprinkling uh, in there. Sprinkling in there. I will obviously like, we'll update more when we like go through the book. Uh, in its entirety because... I will take time to read it I promise yeah like I, I really want it. I really like I'm I so far I've been really enjoying it I just think I want to take my time with it because usually here's my thing with reading books is I rush through everything because I'm just a really fast reader yeah um, no I'm totally the same you're just like devouring the book I, I'm like, I, I feel like I'm not enjoying this as much as I should yeah like I think my record for reading like 500 page books is like I read five in a day and honestly like it's ridiculous feel that. I feel that <laughs> yeah so I really want to take my time and like enjoy like all of the sections and just really like involve myself within the book but we do have some member stuff that we need to, we need yeah. to talk about so uh, first things first our president Kim Namjoon came to visit us he came to visit us uh not only on instagram because he's been posting a lot of you know studio pics and him working on a new album yeah also shout out to anyone that are following <laughs> june's story about what he's doing for his workouts because you guys are machines like i can't it's so good um, i could not <laughs> I, I could not either uh he also went live uh, which was very surprising to me. I we was haven't like, had a Junie live in so Hello? long. He must have like 
missed it too like miss is it yeah 100 percent uh he definitely did talk about his album which i'm this the new one that's gonna be coming out he was saying like it's gonna be like nothing like indigo which i'm like what does that mean it sir makes sense but also, also I'm, scared. <laughs> I'm terrified what does that mean like what is this what does that mean juni like what because like let's be honest every single namjoon album that we have gotten so far from like his one before debut the mono and indigo have all been completely different and i'm like what what else could you do what what does this mean sir i'm scared um because it's kim nam man. this like, this new right here please please tell please. us like just tell me give me like some secrets i promise i won't tell anybody i promise i just need to be prepared yeah where's juni that keeps spoiling shit please bring him back uh he's probably <laughs> <laughs> the company's probably like you're not allowed to do lives with anybody yeah go live <laughs> after after <laughs> He's especially not allowed to do lives with Jimin because that man and Jimin together are spoilers of the century. Not just that, do you can just remember when they did the Dalgona coffee? Oh, yeah. Juni's like, is this live? Yes. <laughs> and you're gonna say, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Quarantine was a different time. Where are my quarantine armies at? Like, give me a oh. like, hand praising down below. <laughs> I will never that forget time. that clip. This is one of like my no. favorite BTS memes. It's, like, it's so live? funny. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm going to say oh. oh it's... <laughs> <laughs> his the look on his face is so funny. Jim is like, you good? Young, what do you mean? <laughs> uh anyway, he's hilarious. Um, I really love seeing him. He looks yeah. incredibly good, which is terrifying. Um. I also just love how he's like, don't worry, my short hair doesn't have to do with the thing that we're all thinking about. Relax. Oh my god, when the <laughs> photo came out, everybody was panicking. I probably already mentioned it. Everybody was panicking, and I was just here in the corner being like, "I this is my favorite. Like, short hair with like the little like, quiff at the front is my favorite hair on Juni. It's so good. It, it's so good. He looks so good with short hair. His face is really like meant for short hair. It looks so yes. incredibly good. I'm just over here like what uh, what, uh, <laughs> what, uh explain yourself? What, uh... <laughs> uh so uh Min Suga has of course a new episode of Shushita. Jehope! So that was released this, this, is, this morning. Is, this is what we got this week. Yeah, we got soap. Um, I'm so incredibly happy. So the reason that we got um, a new soap interview is because it's the one year anniversary of Jack in the Box. And to surprise armies, he's releasing a full an album. Actual an physical actual physical album. CD. Which, to be honest, for I, Jack in the Box. I knew that he was going to release a full album. Like, realistically... Yeah, I, like trust them they know what they're doing like everybody needed to relax uh, they also probably did it on the one year anniversary because he we were been missing 100 percent. i was like this was planned so everybody yes, relax 100%. um i'm also extremely excited because i get to hear like you know the concept photos though. the concept photos look so good and we get Lollapalooza interpretations of some of the songs which i am so excited about because i get to relive that Maybe not the anxiety, but like the They'll rest be on of it. Spotify too, right? I hope so. It better be. It better be. I'm gonna be mad. So yes, we're getting. We a new need one. to put those on the playlist, you know. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> uh, so we're getting a new album of Jack in the Box. So also, he went on Sushita to talk to Yungi about like the one year. It was like the day after his birthday, or no, no, the day before his birthday when they filmed. That yeah. video. They brought him a cake and everything. They brought him a cake. Yeah. <laughs> Just like IU did when Yoongi went over the show. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute and sweet. Um, they were also talking, so we're also getting a new documentary with Hobie. It's uh dancing related. And we're getting Listen, a new Hobie is mixing of documentaries. <laughs> It's true. So <laughs> next year, 2024, we're getting a new documentary. We're also getting a new mixtape from Hobie. And I'm just over here like, 
boy, you're out of your mind, but I love yeah, it. Yeah, dude's, dude's in the military getting buff AF and shit, and then he's gonna dr- drop some more music and we're making like... Sir, I haven't recovered from Jack the Box, and you're gonna release this new mixtape with like six songs on it? Again, oh. better be on Spotify. Better be on Spotify. I swear to God, if it's not on Spotify, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, I will riot. I uh, love you, but I will. I will riot. I will riot. Um, as per usual, he's like the sunshine of my life. So to see him and his BFF Min Yoongi hanging is, out is amazing. If you're new here, Soap is my favorite subunit. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have them on my monitor if it was. <laughs> It's facts. I freaking love how they both kind of like feed off each other. Yeah. I love them. I will never stop loving them. So much. So incredibly much. Um, they are such an incredible um duo, obviously. Listen, when they open the door during like the like promotion for their documentaries and everything. And they, I was like, oh my god, the old soap is back. I'm gonna get old soap cafe or something. Yeah, I, I'm like so looking forward to whatever this new like mixtape is about. Mm-hmm. Um, him is talking it? about like we don't make bad music. Ever, no, so. well, and them talking about like Lollapalooza was so incredibly fun because you know Yungi's like you deserve to be a headliner. Like yes. out of out of all of the members like you deserve to be a headliner um you know also his music is kind of like perfect for a festival too i also just love how like <laughs> i'm just saying it's true well i also just love how yugi was like yeah i was watching live at the same time and i didn't realize like how many armies were there and then all the army bombs come out yeah <laughs> and it's just yeah, like no, watching oh it live God. was was an because I know being there was an out of body experience, but watching it live and then seeing like the crowd was also an out of body experience, yeah. especially for like armies. Yeah. Because we're like, our people showed up. Let's go. I think you know maybe they were thinking like, oh, it's a festival. Like not not many armies are gonna show up. And I was like, boy, I stood in line for eight hours just to see you. Listen, JK made a joke on an interview like yesterday or today about wanting to perform on the moon. Who thinks that ARMY will not like sell out the fucking planet? I'm just saying. Like, genuinely, I'm just saying. Um, No lying. I also just love how like their, you know, their relationship with music has just like grown so much and they were talking about like how much passion they have for music and you can just see it like with everything that they've done in the past like year and a half has been Mm -hmm. so incredibly focused on their passions and how they're expressing them in so many different ways and it's just so cool to like see all of these things and I'm really excited for this new documentary it's called uh, Hope on the Streets and we'll be getting um, the new album which will have six songs on it um which i'm so excited about and of course like them talking about like when we get back together we're gonna be an amazing team like i can't wait for 2025 yeah, to go already on tour. were it's just gonna be even better it's just gonna be so much better like they have not reached the peak of what bts could be yet at, like and at that's all. saying a lot and that's <laughs> saying a lot like um yeah so there's like a a whole bunch of other things that they talked about in there but these those are like the the biggest like highlights from that video obviously you got to go and watch it and we also got a teaser we got a teaser for next next week week. uh i wonder who it is i wonder who comes Mm. onto the set and be like (laughs) yoga yeah i wonder who has like a full sleeve of tattoos that has an army on it Mm, Uh, i don't know who it is i don't know who it is we're gonna have to find out i guess we're still missing k on sushita yes boy needs to be next where's kim Young? well (laughs) came back from uh (laughs) from paris you know Yes. Uh, Because uh, Jimin came back from New York. Yeah, Jimin came back from New York and posted a hilarious Weverse being like, oh yeah, I forgot my Insta password, so I needed to remember that. Of course he did, once again. Ah, they all forget their passwords. I'm like, dude. It's the worst of them all, though. It's facts. 
<laughs> facts on facts. Yes, and Tay posted a whole bunch of pictures from Paris, which, sir, first of all, okay, like the sexy eyes, not not needed. It's time to stop. <laughs> it really is. Like I'm tired. And he was also, uh, he's the new ambassador of Cartier, which that photo that he dropped with that, I was like, I'm I told, I tell you, he doesn't done. need to do the sexy eyes. We didn't I'm need those tired <laughs> how many times have i said that kim taeyong is the biggest problem of this <laughs> he really is he's also like the stealthiest problem you know what i mean like he just comes out of nowhere and it's like oh by the way i'm the new ambassador for cartier sir excuse me i need a lead up i need a warning, warning. i need i need like five business days like give me that and he's uh, like i think nah. we need more than five business days Look, I'm trying to be realistic here. <laughs> that is, I I know that I need more, but I'm being realistic. We're not getting it. I know. We're really not. <laughs> <sighs> but uh, la piece, la, la pièce de résistance. Ah, yes. Let's talk about our Mac. John John Cook. John John Cook. Okay, so, so if you didn't see it, we reacted to Seven on Sundays clip video was our reaction video yes if you haven't seen it uh you can go and watch it it'll appear somewhere somewhere it'll be somewhere uh but after that uh on our own tab we uh reacted at the still together to yeah. the explicit version we did of was not expecting <laughs> we also got the explicit explicit version with the choreo video yeah, the performance video which i was yeah. not expecting at all i thought that we were just gonna exist oh with the non-explicit like, didn't, version didn't juni jam to the explicit version on it on his yeah 100 percent. and yeah. then sonu from an hypen also jamming to the explicit version on live yeah when when the song when the song dropped, all the members were just like, "Yo, stream the explicit oh. version," and I was like, "I don't know how to, I don't know how to take that." I did put the explicit version on my playlist. Yeah, hundred percent. They're all online <laughs> too. Now, uh, interestingly enough, I saw this uh, tweet about like the music video because we had like talked about it during our reaction mm -hmm. and the lyrics and stuff. And honestly, I think this this one tweet I don't remember who tweeted it, but it was like. I think that song's from the girl's perspective rather than Jungkook's perspective. That's because possible. of because of what he says in the beginning, it's like she's just constantly like she has all the weight on of the world on her shoulders. Like she's like constantly thinking about it and you know, him kind of being the like catalyst of like, it doesn't matter what's going on in your life, I will love you forever. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's kind of interesting. And I think the music yeah. video sort of like leads into that it's like you know you're just on a train chilling and you're thinking about your man and he's like right there you know yeah that's possible oh, that's it's, a, an inter it's an interesting take i was like oh that's... yeah it's an interesting theory for sure it's kind of interesting i yeah. know like for him he just really enjoyed the song and wanted to like sing it and showcase it and stuff yeah. and we definitely got um so we had mentioned that he did do the good morning america performances now they weren't official performances because it got rained out so they were like the you know pre-recording of yeah. the show unfortunately but all of them were still like incredibly amazing he also oh, performed yeah. euphoria and dynamite and dynamite yes which i loved all of them um they're so good performances. He's so, such a good performer. Like the the dance was, video he was is having so good. So much fun. Oh yeah, and he's like constantly having fun. Like all the like TikTok videos. That performance video is such cool choreography. It really reminded me of J Hope. Like yeah, like no, a for lot. Sure. Like a but lot, also a lot. him on like interviews and stuff. People will be like, "Oh, we really like it. We wanted more." It was like I know. I was like I know what I did. <laughs> I know what I did. I know what I'm doing. I know. I know. I see it. I see it. Um, we also got uh, there's also a couple of remixes that got released as well. Mm -hmm. The they also finally credited BTS too. Yes. I saw that this happened. They did, thankfully. Um, yeah, we got a couple of remixes. One of them is the band, and then the other one is Summer. 
remix. I -hmm. actually really enjoy the summer remix. I thought that that one was quite interesting. I liked the like different sort of like instrumental vibe that it had going on. Yeah. I think I like that one over the band version. Like I Mm -hmm. like the band version, but I think the the summer one tickles you more. I think so. Yeah. You know what? It's like, it's like all the dynamite remixes we got, like some of them were definitely better than others. Oh Yeah personally yeah but also the dynamite ones we got like 10 or 12 we got 10 yeah (laughs) got like the the day album and then the night Night one (laughs) yeah uh we also got some behind the scenes in a bang tan bomb which is great he's so funny him like clowning yugi is like the most hilarious thing ever (laughs) him being like yugi is so awkward and i was like i i don't it's just fucking good it's good it's really good i really have been enjoying the song a lot uh i've been like playing it a lot recently on like playlist which you should definitely do so we can stream it and get it up there on the charts and stuff so all my playlists are like down below as per usual (laughs) there's a giant playlist list i was going i speaking of my playlist i was talking to my friend (laughs) who was like because we were talking about the difference between like apple and spotify and i was like yeah i have like a bunch of spotify playlists and he was like why are you with he was like how many playlists do you have and i was like okay what do you mean by that because like i have a lot like some of them are on my profile and some of them aren't so the ones that are on my profile i have a lot and then the ones that aren't i still have a lot Mm mm-hmm I don't know what to tell you. You curate your emotions and that's okay. I curate my emotions. What can I say? So if you're interested, uh, I have a bunch of, obviously, the streaming playlists below. Um, They are official, like, streaming playlists. I build them for streaming. So if you guys want to check them out, down below. Uh, We also got more information about the uh, TXT documentary. Oh, yeah, my baby. That's coming out. So we got a trailer (laughs) for our last summer, which will be TXT's Disney Plus one. We also got a... you want to say? (laughs) We also got a remix version of uh, Do It Like That. It's not my favorite remix. I'm gonna... I think the original one is better but I that's mean, just it's my kind personal of really opinion hard to top the original one for this yeah song. it's 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 not my favorite it's just okay <laughs> but if you like it like that's totally yeah. you can go and like it but uh, i just i personally do not like it it's not my favorite. it happens what can i say so are, what we is. have some songs that we're just like don't i don't think it needs and like not every song needs a remix <laughs> yeah it doesn't need it it doesn't need it it was like perfect as it was it was yeah it was perfect the way that it was <laughs> uh is this it for this week i think it is i think it is yeah so let's head on to our songs of the week obviously seven is on there obviously but we have other songs <laughs> yes that we will also recommend yes 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 <laughs> uh so so my BTS song this week is Outro Ego. So good. You have no idea <laughs> how much I screamed when this song came on during Lollapalooza. Oh, like, I have no doubt. Lost my Ka- mind. Kat and I were screaming at home because we were watching it together. But uh, I can't imagine being there in person. I swear to God, I went into like a different dimension because like I'm not, not only is it hot, right? And I'm like wearing a mask. I am screaming mm, yeah. as loud as possible. God, it's a good thing you don't wear glasses. It would have been a nightmare for you. Passing away. <laughs> like genuinely, I'm pretty sure my soul left my body. Oh, I have no doubt. Did not come back down. This song is fire. It's all so the time. good. And the fact that like we got to see like a version of this, not just like at Lollapalooza, which was incredible, but also during like the the one concert mm-hmm. in 2020. Yeah. Um that's probably one of my pa- favorite performances because he's like all my brothers and like he's dancing. It's so good. It just makes me so happy. Like 
always when I hear this song on I'm like yes yeah. yes my <laughs> sunshine I need you my love I miss no. you I miss you so what is your non-BTS song uh my non-BTS song is Amplify which is an original song by VTuber Z uh, Ren Soto from BG Sanji uh this dude is so fucking talented my god uh it's kind of like an electro kind of very boppy kind of song um dude's australian doesn't sound australian at all in the song uh yeah he's like he debuted less than a year ago and he's already got three singles out wow uh, they're amazing he always does like piano sessions on stream or like guitar session just jamming and chilling Love his it. voice is so good <laughs> so i highly recommend <laughs> all right what about you uh so my bts song this week is uh love in school i know i'm going like retro old school <laughs> i'm going old school for this one uh i put it on um <laughs> one of my seven playlists the sexy version Oh, it's a bop. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> yes, I yes. I don't know what to say. It's on a sexy version. <laughs> That's all you need to know. So just go listen to Is House I... of Cards also on that sexy version playlist. Look, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so is Love Maze and Paradise. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> what can I say? Piper on there as well. It may or may not start that playlist. Anyway, my non BTS song. <laughs> uh, my non BTS song is a complete opposite of um, yeah. outro love in school. It is uh, "Waiting for the End" by Linkin Park. Whenever people have asked me, so my like trainer, uh, my boxing trainer. He was like, one day he was like, what were the bands, like, what music did you listen to before BTS? And I was like, oh, before BTS. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Before BTS. But we probably should. <laughs> but I was like, the bands that, like, really, like, influenced me were, like, Linkin Park was definitely mm -hmm. up on that list. Imagine Dragons. Like, I was a huge into like bands and like boy groups like that was yeah my main thing which is why it was like an easy transition into bts True. that's like <laughs> a lot of armies were uh kind of one directions yeah like it's a it's a really easy crossover and for me like lincoln park was a huge influence like that that was the kind of like comfort music that i would go to to like you know feel okay and like oh somebody yeah. like understands what i'm going through um and like rest in peace chester you were one of the most amazing human beings and listening because lincoln park recently had put out a new album um uh, mm -hmm. in honor of meteora which was their second um studio album and they put on like a 20 like a happy 20th year of Meteora yeah. album and the two new songs that were on there um just like reminded me I like went into like a deep like dive into back into, back into Lincoln Park yeah. and Waiting for the End was like one of those songs that were constantly on my playlist uh when it came out because it was just it's like one of those songs that's so inventive in so many different ways and between like Chester singing and then also mike like rapping on it it's just ah, oh, it's so good yeah. and the music video is unreal like it's incredible i love it it's one of my favorite music videos it's just so mm -hmm. good it's also so simple like one of their easiest music videos to film and yet it's just perfection yeah i don't want to talk about what i, I was listening <laughs> to before bts there are some stuff that's like really normal yeah I went through a really long grief phase. Yeah, that's totally fair. Like a really long grief phase. I mean, I feel like everybody... Uh, but they had, like, a lot of really good covers. Like, yeah. They did some... justice to most of the songs they did. So. Most of them. Some that's of them why are... I said most. I didn't say all. <laughs> Ooh, some of them were... Oh, good lord. Mostly Mr. Shoes covers. 
the earlier ones weren't too bad. The later ones were really bad. <laughs> because yeah. they were always in weird contexts. Yeah, like Blurred That's Lines mostly what probably didn't need to happen. I feel it's like... like it sounded good, but the context in which they decided to put the song into the show was no, not it. Just no. Because it, it was boppy. Like, don't get me wrong. But I mean, so is it, that it was, song. But it's... It was put in for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. They are high schoolers. I don't think that we need... Yeah, no. No. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, the complete opposite of you. Because, like, I grew up... My dad is, like, a huge rock and metal fan. My um, dad, too. But it... He never really shared. He he shared uh, more of his gaming side with me oh, than his music side. Yeah, it was definitely for uh, so. like my brother and I the musical side of it. So I was like growing up, you know, grew, growing up. You were growing uh, up. I was growing up, guys. Uh, I grew up with like Motley Crue and Kiss and mm-hmm. Iron Maiden, like these bands that sort of influenced my. Yeah. you know listening taste later on with Lincoln Park and Green Day and mm-hmm. My Chemical Romance and like all of these like bands I've been listening to Simple Plan since like really really early on true Simple Plan I mean it, it really helps that they're from Montreal <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I also it's had true. like this Quebec of kind of like rockish artists that I grew up really loving mm. as well which is uh, who is Mahi May Oh yeah, uh, I love I her. Mean, like I was able to meet her, <laughs> see her live. That's amazing. So, um, I mean, I grew then, up like, in Burda. Maroon, like Maroon Five. Oh, Headley sure. was really good before all the freaking drama. Yeah, and, I yeah. loved Headley, but not anymore. I can't. Support I love them. Headley, but not not Jacob. <laughs> Yeah, Panic at the Disco for sure. Yeah, um, yeah even like five, a phase Imagine of like, Dragons. Yeah, uh, even I, like a I phase of to a lot of pop too. Nickelback for sure. <laughs> like even though they're a meme, honestly, they make good music. Like I yeah, can't even no, deny that sure. they do. Uh, Troy Sivan, a lot. Yeah, like of course I listened to like the top forty radio, but it yeah. wasn't. Those were like one off things. Like I was never a mm-hmm. like stan of those. Like I think bands. one of the first albums that I got was a Madonna Madonna album. Oh, and then Madonna. I think Nelly Furtado. Yeah, Nelly Furtado. Boys. Shakira. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I think. So. Okay, so ugh, this is gonna age me quite a bit oh no <laughs> but i i didn't get my first cd i got my first tape like cassette tape <laughs> which yeah. was backstreet boys <laughs> i'm pretty sure or it was in sync no, no no it was yeah. backstreet boys it was for a long time boys. i was walking around with a disc player like a portable disc player i had it i had a people cassette think that because and then people think player. that because i was born in 97 i went directly to an mp3 no. i was like no i had the disc player no. and like the, the the folder where you would put all yeah your yeah 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 i was anyway. like i'm still a 90s baby i'm just late 90s baby. just a late 90s i'm an early so it ain't like, be like it is, but it do. You know what i'm saying it is what it is it, it is always. what it is i don't know what i, I don't know <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. Anyway, sorry, musical. Okay, so this here. brings us to the end of this week's episode. As usual, we have a new podcast episode coming out every Thursday and a new clip coming out every Sunday at 3 p.m. EST. Yeah, you yeah. can also listen to us on the go, basically on any app where you were listening to podcasts on the go. You can also find us on our social media social social social, social medias. <laughs> You say I always have problems today. <laughs> well, I always have a problem with like and sh- so. <laughs> yep, you can yeah. also find us on our social medias at Army Think Tank or at Army Think Tank Podcast. And uh, as usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. On that note, have, have a, a good, good week. week. <laughs> we'll see you next Thursday. Bye.